From sleeping in the streets and robbing three people a day, to selling millions of records and losing it all, this is his wild and tragic story. Nobody's sure where DMX was actually born, but he came up in Yonkers. A lot of rappers come from tough situations, but compared to DMX, their lives look like a dream. His dad moved to Philly and never came back, so DMX was left alone with his mom and everything turned into a nightmare. He had severe asthma as a kid and had to be taken to the emergency room all the time because he would wake up and not be able to breathe. The medical issues were bad, but it was nothing compared to what his mom and her boyfriends did to him. DMX slept on the floor with mice and roaches crawling all over him as a kid, and he didn't have anyone around to take care of him. His mom and her boyfriends would constantly beat him, and when he was six, his mom knocked out two of his teeth with a broom handle. His aunt got him drunk for the first time when he was just seven, and not before long, DMX started taking all of his pain out on other people. He started throwing chairs at teachers in school and even stabbed another kid in the face with a pencil. The abuse at home just got worse, and one time his mom locked DMX in his room for an entire summer. By the time he was 10, DMX had been expelled from school and his mom sent him to a children's home for 18 months. She brought him to the group home and made him think that she was just checking it out. But when they got there, DMX's mom betrayed him again and left him in the home. DMX said that right then, I learned to pull away, conceal, and bury whatever bothered me. The other side of me was born there. Being tricked into the group home only made the situation worse. And a few months later, DMX and another kid were arrested for arson after they almost burned the school down. He claimed that he just wanted to see if the flames would turn blue. But then DMX almost killed the other kid and was kept away from everyone else. DMX finally made it out of the group home, but he knew that he never wanted to go back to his mom's place. He started sleeping on the streets and making friends with stray dogs. 